Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So today I'm going to be doing Halloween special, Poundland and a very, very small home bargains haul, guys. It's my last Poundland haul for, well, for Halloween, that's for sure. I'm not too sure if I'll go in there for Christmas bits and pieces, but as for Halloween, it is the last. I apologise now if you hear any sounds, they're doing some kind of fencing over there, they're always doing something where I live, so sorry about that. So let's get straight in guys, I'm going to do home bargain first because it's literally four small items. I did actually buy two memorial candles but it's not Halloween, um, I have showed a picture of that on Instagram and um, we all, well I think most of you know why I bought them candles. So straight away, I went into Home Bargains. I grabbed some of my usual cereal bars. I've been buying the um, Red Velvet 90 calorie bars. Um, but I've thrown the box away and I've put the packets in my drawer. I just put all my treat things like that, that are under 100 calories in a drawer away from Zach. So I grabbed two of these guys. I've took the label off one of them, but here is what they look like. And they're just little neon trick or treat signs that are really, really good. I think they had different versions of these, but when I went back in, they only had um, this version left. And it literally just lights up guys in a neon. It's very effective at night and it's a pumpkin. And then it just says trick or treat. Same with the other one, let me just show you. This one is not as stronger because I've had it on last night, but I have bought the um, tiny little pencil batteries. You know, the very, very tiny little silver batteries. I've bought a pack of them so I can keep them lit through the Halloween season. I would advise guys, when you're putting your decorations away, any that's got batteries, take all the batteries out um, because 12 months is a long time to leave batteries in and sometimes they can rust and knacker the item especially the new items you've got this year so i do recommend taking the batteries out these were very inexpensive guys i think there was something like 129 149 but i grabbed two of them and i'm going to put them on my unit if i can insert any pictures at some point in instagram or on my facebook you'll see them there i also grabbed two more of these guys i got one off charmed wench last year and i bought the cat and the pussycat last year since then both of them have been dropped and broken but I've mended them back together but they've lost their, their little wiggle so I, I grabbed this one which is the um, solar power dancing zombie and this is um, hello scream um, this one is the dancing pumpkin these were super super cheap guys it's 79p if there was more I would have grabbed more I did see the girl with the pumpkins I should have got another one of them really guys because that's the one that got broken and I'm definitely not going out of the house again, guys. So maybe next year I will grab them. But these two were, were good enough. And they're to go in here. These are the ones that I'll probably keep in my studio. As everything else will be in my living room and my um, porch. So that was them two, guys. Let's go straight into Poundland. Super impressed with... This is probably the third trip to Poundland I've had. My first trip was really, really bad. There was hardly anything there. Uh, in fact, no, I tell you, like, the first time I went, there was them lanterns and they had a really small aisle of stuff and I thought that was it. And I grabbed two lanterns and a couple of headband things that I've had on before. And then I went again to the main town and I grabbed another lantern and a couple of bits from there. Again, it wasn't that great. Go guys, I went in today and it was humongous. They had such a massive aisles. I will pop the video up here so you can get to see me going down the aisles. Um, you won't hear no sound because I'll turn the sound off. But you get to see what they had on their shelves. It was super amazing. I was really impressed. So I grabbed another one of these. Again, this one is Creepy Town. So Poundland have the Creepy Town. And obviously Home Bargains have the Hollow Scream. I don't see these in B&M. But I'm glad that I grabbed what I got. This one is the um, the mummy. And this one is just the, the skeleton. So I've got four of these. This one doesn't look to be wobbling too much. But I keep these in here. These were a pound each, guys. Obviously, because it's a pound shop. Still cheaper in home bargains if you do want to, to save that extra bit of money. But I wasn't happy. I didn't mind paying a pound each for them. Um, I have got a couple of items as well from thrift shopping. I will add that in here. 
Then I grabbed four LED lights. These were a pound for four. They had black ones as well, guys, but I just wanted the four um, to put in certain um, burners that I don't want to keep putting candles in because I do notice with the Poundland um, burners, they do kind of make a crackling, cracking sound and it worries me a little bit that it's gonna break. So I've grabbed four of them, guys. Again, these are little pencil batteries that go inside them. I have millions of these, guys. I have all Christmas ones. I think what I might do this year is go and bag, bag? Yeah, bag a few bags of the batteries so I can put them all in. So they're a pound as well, guys. Um, is that it? Oh, and I grabbed some more batteries for my lanterns. These are the AAA ones. Um, the lanterns that I got from Poundland, they don't last very long, guys. And I also got the the B and M candles, so I bought two packs of these. This on a different one, and I've already started using them. And then that one today. Um, this one's the thrift items. I'll do that at the last. Then I grabbed these because I am slowly introducing little bits of treats on a weekend when we have movie night. So I found these, and they were the twelve crunchy melt Oreo creams. These were two pound. Saxon these and he was like, oh mummy, I love you. Thank you for my Oreo. So I was like On your bike lad. <laughs> I bought you some last week. These are for like when we do have a family night Which is probably Friday or Saturday um, Nowhere to put them. I don't want to fill up my space. Let's put it on here um, I did grab another little treat and it is a little treat It's just this Toblerone and it's the white chocolate with honey and almond nougat and it were a pound that's the only treats I got. If you know me well enough, you know that I buy a lot of crisps. I have a lot of crisp and chocolate. So to say I've only got them, I did really, really well. Right, moving swiftly on guys. I did grab Zach a massive, it was a massive bullet egg and it was um, Toy Story and it was really, really good. You've got three molds in there, a little toy and a big tub of plasticine Play-Doh. Um, and he absolutely loves it. I'm gonna go back and get the set and put him in his Christmas stocking because he's, he loves Play-Doh. But I did grab him this, which is the Junior Monster Face Covering. I got him the pumpkin one. They had, I did do a video on these. They had the witch, the cat, and the white one here. Mummy, whatever it's supposed to be. And then obviously the pumpkin one here. They did have the matching hats, guys, but Zach's not fond of hats. So I didn't bother getting him the hat, but I did get him that for a pound. And then I also bought him this spooky bat, and this is the Crayola So Your Own. Um, I've just bought um, some felt from Voodoo Dudes, which will be coming up on my channel. And I just thought, that's very similar to what Nicole does on Voodoo Dudes. And I thought, me and Zach could sit and do this. They had ghosts and they had monsters as well, guys. They're on the little thing, so keep your eyes open for them absolutely brilliant moving on guys the only toiletry thing i did buy was this and it's the enchanted escape midnight orchid we night we like baths in this house and i just thought we need that um moving swiftly on guys um last time i went into poundland i grabbed uh the red duck so, and Zach absolutely loves it, he plays it all the time. So I went and grabbed him this witch duck, mummy can share it, and he was really happy and he was like, yay. They did have a selection of these, all in different ones. They had a mummy one, they had a pumpkin one, they had a devil one, um, a Frankenstein one, and I was just like, wow, that's really, really good. And they're a pound, guys, and they're just something different. I mean, Zach loves playing with ducks in the bath anyway, so for him, it's a bonus. Um, moving on guys because all this is glass in here so i just don't want to ah drop any of it or bang any of it so this is when i get really impressed guys the stuff they had in there was amazing so i grabbed two cauldron candles i got the black ones because i do have the cauldron black burner and i just thought this would go amazing with it it does have a slice um oh yeah blood orange and pumpkin scent yeah they do have a really nice scent to them they had these in gold as well, guys, and they were a pound each. I was like, oh, I'd buy the whole box, to be honest with you guys. They were really, really good. So, a pound each. Um, I'm supposed to be having a visitor. I might I might take them in there, because I think they'd be rather impressed. So, I got them for a pound each, guys. And then I got two more pumpkins, because I, I always collect these every year from the pound shop. 
So I got these two pumpkins and they've got the star and I got one with a, a smiley face and I got one with more of a crookedy face. And these were really, really good guys and they're a pound each. So I grabbed two of them and then moving swiftly on, I grabbed three of these. I just thought they are fantastic. I'll, I'll have me a bit of them. So I grabbed one of these pumpkins and it says, I'll put a spell on you. And I got an orange and it is literally just a ceramic ornament. Then I grabbed the black one and it says Queen of Halloween. I love it. And then I grabbed a white one and it says, hey, pumpkin. So I just thought that's got a little bit of mark on there. I think, oh, it's been on top of my candle. That's why. Um, it'll just mark off. It'll wipe off. These were a pound each, guys. Even better if they would have been like three for a pound. I mean, how good would that have been? But there probably wouldn't have been any left. But they had plenty left on my shelves and I was quite impressed. It's, I feel as if the lanterns have been the best buy when it comes to pound shop this year. But I grabbed three of them, guys. I have got no room to put them all. Let me just... Ah. Yeah, so I got them. And then these I am super, super impressed with. Sorry, guys, I'm having to twist my body, which is not a good thing for me to do. Put my bags on the floor. Now, I've seen everybody getting these, including um, Simply Spooky, Kirsty, And I, I think I've seen Looney Lily get them as well. And I was like, I'm looking for them. There we go. So I grabbed the, the spooky planter. I mean, we're, we've got a huge um, tree nursery going on at the minute. And I'd quite easily put my little Christmas trees in here on my little monkey puzzle trees. But there's not a lot of room, guys, to, to put like, and you couldn't water it very well. But I kind of like the whole aesthetic of it. And it's quite a heavy piece. So I grabbed that one, guys. Then I grabbed <gasps> Mr. Pumpkin. Well, as soon as I seen this, I thought, oh, get that there was one of these left and i grabbed it guys so that went in my basket these were a pound each and then i grabbed a pussycat as well so i got all three there was only them three that i could see that was the last one of them you can kind of tell that 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 shelf had been ravished that i love that i love that i love that um there was lots of the cauldron candles left not so many of the ceramic um pumpkins left there was quite a few of the ghosts left and quite a few of the cat left but my my one was in, in Willanore guys so I don't know if many people would be going there that watch my video but they were a pound each guys and then I also grabbed this and I was like where are that it is a solid solid weight guys this is a proper proper I, I won't even call it ceramic it's stone this is proper solid stone they had a few of these left guys and it literally is a skull putting his hands his claws his skeleton hands on his face it's not brilliant but it was a pound and i just thought it's different it's heavy there you go and if anyone broke in my house i could grab that and lob it at the red so <laughs> all good so that was that guys and um, they had quite a few of them left but i only wanted one because they were a bit of a misshapen thing then i grabbed um pumpkin light because we're ordering our pumpkins um we're ordering them a little bit later than last year last year we ordered them too early and they all went rotten so i think we're gonna do it a little bit different this year um i only grabbed one of these because we might just grab one big pumpkin this year and it says it's got a three light settings i don't quite know how it works or how you turn it on but it was a pound they had all the carving things in there well you can see they had everything in there my last two items from um poundland were these two and it says as as i burn i bleed so i got a red one and i got a black one will i burn these no <laughs> why because i collect skulls anything skulls I'm, I'm fascinated by i will just put this on my my unit I'm just glad that I grabbed them, to be honest with you. I have enough candles in my house to burn without having to burn these. Because when you think about it, guys, once these are burned, all you're left with is two glass holders to put a votive candle in. And there won't be the shape of a skull. So, pound each. They didn't have many of these left. I was glad to grab the two that I got. Now I have really, really am running out of space. So that was it for Poundland, guys um what did it come to it came to 27 pound altogether i did buy another two cleaning items which are not here don't want to add it for halloween so um 25 oh and then the bag 
I wanted to get the Halloween bag but they didn't have any left. I was a little bit disappointed because I absolutely love that bag. I think I have last year's bag still. And I ended up just going finding the bag for Zach instead. So I found this bag and it says game on. It's got the PlayStation controller. I just thought this would be great to put his birthday presents inside. Once he's opened them and he can like put them in his bedroom. And it's a solid bag and it was a pound for the bag guys. So there you go. So that was the pound lamb guys. And then I have, um, I, I nipped into the charity shop that's near me and had a look in there and as i was looking there wasn't much pulling there was a jumper that i liked in there it was a cold shoulder jumper but it had a massive stain on it and i know i could have just took it home and washed it but it was 5.99 and i was like nah nah so i carried on looking guys and i found this and i was like oh treasure it's massive and i've lost a lot of weight but i don't care this could be like with my jammer bottoms just normal jammer bottoms so I found this Skull Men's T-shirt, guys. And I was like, oh, there was two of them left. I should have grabbed two and had one for Ben. Ben, could, But I don't know if he'd wear it, to be honest with you. Ben's, he only likes his band T-shirts. It was £2.49 and it was from Compton, Compton Care Hospice. We give to Compton Hospice every year because that's where Ben's um, grandma was before she passed away some time ago so we always give to a charity that our friends do uh, a gig there so i was quite happy to give them my money and it's new with the label guys it was six pound two xl it says and it was from f and f so it's brand new unused and now it's mine and i've actually got my skeleton jumper on so i was destined to find this t-shirt so that was that guys and then i i grabbed I won't show you this one, but I will grab this one because this one's a gift. I went into a, a, a shop that had loads and loads of weird and wonderful things in there. I, they even had a Halloween section. A lot of this stuff they had was stuff that I didn't really need. I, I mean, I prefer to have like my ceramic kind of things. As for steel and decorations, what I've got is enough. Um, next year, I'll buy all new again. So it accumulates over the years. And I do have a big box of decorations in the loft somewhere from the year before with all brand new noisy toys like the crows and stuff but again i can't find it but maybe one day i'll find them i grabbed this book for zach while i was in this shop it was one pound fifty and it says let's do punctuation for ages seven to eight and i just thought that's great for zach and it has stickers in there as well zach absolutely loves stickers and that just he had his little treats i got him this and i got him that toy story thing and i got him that felt thing and i got him some biscuits so one happy little boy you don't have to go and spend the end of the earth to keep certain children happy especially mine he gets treated on his birthday at christmas but through the year we always buy him little tidbits and you know he appreciates that so that is it guys that is my halloween 2020 poundland and a little bit of home bargains and a little bit of a thrifty shop in there which i'm quite chuffed with so there you go guys take care of yourself and i'll see you guys on my next one Hope you're all prepared for Halloween this year. It's not going to be the same, I know. I mean, it's not going to be the same anyway for obvious reasons that I'm not going to go into. But um, yeah, just take care of yourself, guys, and stay safe. And I'll see you on my next video, whatever that might be. It's October. It's got to be Halloween. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit that like button if you like this video, because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.